What is up guys and welcome back to another vlog. Yes, today we're working on the WRX once again and our friends over at Perrin hooked it up with a whole bunch of parts for the WRX so really appreciate it. They sent us out a ton of stuff so let's flash back to when I unboxed all of the Perrin goodies. Dang, this is really full to the brim guys. So Perrin, thank you guys so much for sending this out. Look at all this stuff. We got I don't even know, master cylinder, reservoir cover. We got some t-shirts here. Looks like we got some vinyl stickers. I'll open those up, a bunch of stuff. Man, they're freaking hooked it up. Got a entire stack full of parent decals, very cool. Now this is the stuff I'm most excited about. So let's go ahead and uh, let's pull all these boxes out. Ready? All right, man. I am so blown away by the amount of support. Perrin is an amazing company and uh, we're just super stoked that they're willing to send out all this stuff to make the WRX even better. So um, let's go ahead and start opening up these little boxes. These are like, it's like Christmas here. So we got an oil fill cap for all of Subarus in a nice matte black finish. Very cool, let's see what's in this box. We have a Subaru shift knob with boot holder. Woo! Let me set this down. Dang, this thing is weighted. Wow. Check that out. That is so freaking nice. Holy crap, looks like a lasered finish. Man, that is dope. And the boot bag is cool too. All right, we got a license plate frame. We got a WRX STI belt cover. So that's what's gonna be in here. Dang, it's got that nice wrinkle black finish. This looks like it'll match that intake you guys saw in a previous video. Their wrinkle black is so nice and once again, if you guys can see that, it has the little printed logo underneath so you can't see it, but um, that way you know you have the right part number and man, dude, that finish is so cool. Super, super dope. All right, we got battery tie down. Okay, let's take a look. You know, there's one thing that I really would want to just point out right now, and that is the attention to detail with all the parent stuff that we've opened so far. Every single item, you guys can see right here, has a little bag full of the instructions with photos on how to install their products. Now, like some of these products are super simple, right? Have that amount of um, you know, documentation and everything that like, if you don't know anything about cars and they're willing to provide it, you don't have to go look it up. That's just really cool and that's awesome. I really do appreciate that. You know, something as simple as a battery tie down, everything is machined, powder coated, and then bagged and sealed. Not like a Ziploc bag. This is a bag that was literally made for this part. So that is very cool. The packaging is A1. All right, so here is a WX radiator shroud. This is good for the WX and the STI. Once again, a little instruction manual. And, oh yeah. That wrinkle black finish one more time with the Perrin logo printed on there. Look at how crispy that is. All right, boom. So we're gonna start with something super easy, which is the Perrin oil cap. Now, one thing I really like about this one is uh, this is a machined part. It's not a cast part, it's machined. Um, I love the knurling on the side, so that's what they call that finish. Really nice and uh, should be pretty easy to install. So here we go. Ready? Okay. Unscrew. And then, oh, there we go. Number one's done. Super difficult install. All right, so the second install is going to be the Perrin 
battery tie down. Now this also should be very easy. We'll get rid of this freaking nasty rusty thing. Should be just some, oh, need a deep socket. It looks like a 10 millimeter on each side. When we get the right tool, we'll just pop this thing off and put on the new one. That's done, let's go to the next thing. Should be able to just pop, oh, there's one right here too. Two bolts on the front. Okay, let's pop these guys off. Get the pliers. There's two clips here, almost like zip ties, just get some pliers. Pinch those, kind of wiggle them through, because I think we're gonna reuse these. So, okay, and there we go. OEM piece is off. All right, let's go ahead and try this again, because I didn't read the instructions closely enough the first time. The long one goes on the passenger side, and this one's a little bit easier because it has a threaded hole at the bottom. Let's get that out of the way. There we go, just gonna get it nice and loose. There we go. All right, there we go. Everything's nice and level, so we'll use their Allen key that they provided. We're gonna tighten this up. You don't really need to over tighten this, but you don't want it to move around too much. I'm gonna need a little bit, I need a wrench or a socket for the bottom. That's it, boom. Wasn't that difficult, it looks really nice. Hides the pulleys underneath to get rid of this OEM ugly plastic. So we'll put that in the spare parts bin and now we get to look. <laughs> yeah, that Ooh, cool. that looks cool. All right, so let's go ahead and remove these ones and these. Looks like a 10 and a 12 millimeter, easy enough. So we're not gonna put this ugly ass hardware back onto the car with a beautiful new parent shroud. So I'm gonna take some scotch Brite, clean up this hardware. If I had some new stuff, I would use it, but I think these will look pretty nice uh, once uh, I clean I them up. I got you, brother. You got them? Ooh! Oh! Fresh. That's it, right? Oh, baby! Rip. There we go. Men in black, I just flashed you, never yeah. saw that. <laughs> So we're gonna take this old hardware, put it into our random hardware bucket, and uh, Father Mick just came through with some fresh hardware. So let's go toss it on. We're gonna slide in the parent shroud, like so. And then we just toss this bracket on here. Okay, that's pretty easy. And we'll use our fresh hardware. Ooh, that looks good. Let's put our fresh hardware in here. Toss the second one in here. All right. All right, that project's done. Now we have one thing left to do, which I think is the most exciting thing. That's the shift knob. It'll be you real quick. Well, let me get in character. Hey guys, Evan <laughs> Throttle here. <laughs> <laughs> nice hair. What you're gonna do is go to your stock knob, give her a twist, she's gonna come right off. Yes! You're gonna huck her off, and you're gonna grab your new knob. You're gonna make sure it's nice and shiny, give me a little spit and shine, whatever fits the boat. Then you're gonna give a firmly grasp it, and you're gonna twist her all the way down. She's gonna get a little tight. Can you pick the, the boot up? Ooh. Or is it gonna stay down? There it is. This is supposed to attach, but she's a bit. Wait, have you done this before? Boom! Whoa! Beckerman. Look at that. Just like that, you now got a nice parent knob for, you know, what her knob needs, which I'm sure you got a lot. So, thanks for watching this episode of Throttle. 
We'll catch you next time. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.